welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem. Since last time, I used the arena leveling trick. Um, one thing I forgot to mention, though, when it comes to doing this the right way, is that if an enemy attacks you twice in the arena at any means, at any time, quit. Now, if you try doing the arena again, it'll be the exact same enemy. So what you're going to want to do is switch it off with another character. That's the only thing I learned after using the arenas, and I forgot to mention that last episode. So, with the arena, I got uh, Matthew to level 20. These are his final stats. And then I also got Oswin to level 20. He's the only one I want, I and mean, he's the only two characters I want at level 20. Everyone else, I only grew a few levels. I got Hector to 14, Will to 13, Marcus, eh, one more level, 4. And then I got Sane to 11, and Canis to 13. Uh, it's risky to try to get everyone level 20, but you can if you really want to. Oh, and I also got Priscilla level 12 after all those healings that she had to do. So now that we got everything, with Oswin, remember that Night Crest we got earlier? Yeah, it's finally time to use this puppy. Oh, uh, being level 20 and then using the Night Crest is so much more worth it than, uh, say, level 15 or 10, anything lower. Oh, the upgrading classes is beautiful. I mean, look at that stat boost! Wow! Yeah, I like it. And he can now use axes. Oh, that's pretty much it. Um, I made sure I have extra heal staffs, little staves, and, uh, uh, my mer- Ah, and Merlinus. And you can attack Dart, but notice how he hasn't attacked me at all. So, don't bother. Just keep him alive. He, w he won't bother you. Alright, it's finally time to talk to, uh, the leader. What's his name, Fargus? Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had an interruption. What do you mean that was hard, Hector? It was not hard. Yeah, we can get past this now, right? I'm glad you keep your word. Uh, yeah, she is. <laughs> uh... I don't know how she should feel about that. Yeah, well, I guess you have to accept it. <laughs> no, she hasn't. Alright, it's time to go to the Dread Isle. Yeah, I hope your father's okay. It's never good when your father is, uh, not doing okay. Yeah, I spent quite a long time on that, uh, arena. Fargus, that's his name. Did I say that last time? Huh. Yeah, so he's on the, uh, well, near the Dragon's Gate. Yeah, we don't want him to be a conspirator. That'd be a bad thing. I know, so I played this when I was a, a really little kid. I didn't understand all, like, the terms, like, politics and stuff. I did not understand that when I was younger. But of course I do now. Nah, uh, I don't think so. Why, does any one of my members get seasick or something? Oh, what's that? Yeah, there has to be another reason. No one else wanted to... <laughs> yeah, they treat us like we're crazy. And yeah, no one else wants to take us there. Uh, you guys have reason to go there? Why? Oh. For a challenge. Um, okay, that's what floats your boat. Technically, we're on a boat, but whatever. Oh, well, yeah, it's a good idea to abandon some dreams. You don't want to try to get all of them. Really? Oh, what, you just get tired of playing poker at the bar or something? Moonclaves. Oh, God, that's a funny term. Okay. Yeah, they have the courage like Link from the Zelda series. Yeah, I'll return. Oh. Okay, a signal fire, huh? Okay, cool. We appreciate it. You want us to ride back? A dory? Huh. Yeah, I guess you could bring him aboard. I mean, I guess someone got stuck on a little boat and maybe then they have enough food or something. Oh. That kind of sucks. Sure, I guess we can go greet our guest. Wonder if we met before. Probably not. No, wait, no, we have met before. I think. Oh, yeah. 
Of course I did. Um, yeah, we can trust them. Oh, cool. A girl? No way! Well, the sprite looks like a girl. Oh, this scene is so funny. Uh, I don't know where to, uh, grab her. <laughs> How about, you know, shoulders or the back? N nowhere. <laughs> uh, use your common sense, good sir! Oh my god. <laughs> Ah, oh, jeez. Hey, at least he's being honest about it. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable that we're into Ninian again. Yeah, we rescued them from a band of villains, pretty much. Ah, oh, she's awake. Cool. You okay? Yeah, why were you on that boat? What happened to you two after a year ago? Oh, after we defeated Lunger and Lunger and whatever. Oh, she has amnesia. Great. Oh, you're kidding. And so pirates are attacking pirates? God, this is Pirates of the Caribbean all over again. Oh, did not mean hit the A button that fast. Sorry, Dart. I guess your dialogue isn't that important. Our waters. So you guys technically own this sea or something? Yeah, let's go ahead and... Oh, wow. I guess they put bridges on our ship. Oh. Yeah, wow. So, basically the breach is getting full of water. Oh, or they'll sink. <laughs> uh, yeah, they need your help too. Yeah, don't worry, Fargus, we'll take care of the enemy. It's not like they stand a chance against us. Besides, we're good at fighting! Yeah, we all don't want to drown. Yeah, we'll take care of the deck. Can't guarantee you'll be in one piece, but uh, just go. Bye Fargus, and bye other pirates. Yeah, Ninian, you stay in the room. Well, we'll take care of everybody. I wonder if these guys are after Ninian. Are you guys the same ones that were trying to get her the first time around? Okay, as far as units go, um, if you did the arena leveling trick, you do not need Matthew. I mean. We won't be needing him for quite a while. Um, Oswin, you probably won't need either, because he is like another Marcus, just very really strong, and you don't need that kind of power at this time. I prefer to go... We, we're going to want Lucy... Oh, hold on. Yeah, let's get rid of Oswin this chapter. We're going to want Lucius and Canis. Oh, I saw that secret book. Let's see, what does that do again? Skill by two points. What's your skill? Ten... Um, actually, what's Lin's skill? Oh, yeah, you, you don't need it. You don't need it. Um, shoot. Will, what's your skill level? Nine? Yeah, I guess you could use it. How about you, Elliewood? Fifteen? Yeah, you don't need it either. Um, do I really need Kent this time around? I might want... Uh, I guess Kent or Raven will be fine, but... I'll go with Kent. That's not too bad. Let's go ahead and give that uh, skill book to Will. No. Although, I don't want that Devil Axe either, so... Let's go ahead and sell the Devil Axe. It's as useless as I say it is. I mean, unless you want to play with fire, then be my guest. Now, use that secret book. Alright, there we go. Okay. And... Oh, yes. I'm gonna... Now, I'm going to want to get some of those healing staves that I bought earlier. There we go. Alright, she's good to go. And let's go ahead, do our formation. So basically, you're going to want fighters on the right side of the boat. And you're going to want your mages, oh, your magic users on the left side. This is the boss of the map, uh, Zoldam. He's a damn bastard, but he does have speed wings. Um, I don't really care for them, I and mean, it's really risky to try to get it, but if you can steal the speed wings with Matthew, you'll get that, you'll be able to use it on someone else that needs speed, like, I don't know, Oswin or something, but I'm not using Matthew. So I'm just gonna have these two guys on this side, um, let's have 
Lynn and Kent to switch places. So basically, I'm going to have my fighters on the right side, my magic users on the left, and everyone else is going to be more towards the middle. As you can see, there's an armory and a vendor here in case you need to buy supplies, which is pretty good. Um, no, that's not the options I want to go to. Alright, let's see what my rank is so far. Oh, wow! That's, why does my tactics always suck? I think my tactics are pretty good. Eh, okay, well, let's go ahead and start. And you always want to deploy Merlinus at all times. If you're playing Hector's story, there's going to be a Pegasus Knights trying to come in. Uh, actually, ships don't really bother me. I mean, maybe if I'm on it for too long, it might, but I'm okay with ships. Oh, yeah. Dart's going to come up and tell us we have merchants aboard in case you guys need any weapons or supplies. And yada yada. Because you won't be able to stock up once you get to the Dread Isles, so... Yeah, you probably want to buy some stuff. Thank you, Dart! Alright, so... I always move Lucius here, um, because he can just wipe the floor with these guys. I mean, they don't stand a chance against Lucius, and I'm going to have Canis back him up. Wow, you couldn't even hit Lucius, that's kind of sad. These guys just don't stand a chance, do they? And so let's go ahead and back him up here, and yeah, it's always good to have backup. Besides, it's a good idea to train some of your magic users. I mean, if you plan on using, like, Urk in the long run, uh, be my guest and use Urk. Um, it just depends on what characters you want to train. So let's go ahead and have Lynn cover this side. Her Iron Sword will last. It's not like these guys can really do much as far as damage anyways. I mean, the enemies are not too hard, either. Wow, leveled up already! Good job! Ooh, that was actually a good level up! I was hoping for some defense. Lin's defense is never the greatest. Eh, yeah, that's one thing, is that the mages, well, the magic users on that side can and will attack you by any means. Let's visit the armory, though because we're going to want to stock up. Now, if you did the arena trick, um, you're going to have plenty of money to buy supplies. Trust me. I mean, even if you didn't, you should have, like, half the money I have, so around 20000 or so. So you should still have uh, more than enough. So always buy a couple lances. Um, always buy some steel axes. And I'm going to want to buy a hand axe for Hector later. And, uh, another bow will be good, too. Since most of my characters use iron swords, I'm going to want that especially. So just buy a little of everything. It's okay, especially if you're rich. Um, yeah, I think that'll be good. And I'll have her buy stuff in the next, well, the other side later. Uh, let's see. How's Elliwood doing? Okay, not bad. Let's have Sane. Uh, take out this guy with my steel lance. Oh, cool, the one-hit kill. That's actually a good thing. Goodbye, Black Fang mercenary. Um, you suck. Yeah, I don't know what else to really say. I don't know, I guess I could have some boat stories I could talk about. Um, well, I used to go fishing a lot with my dad uh, back when I was younger. Ooh, all right. Um... I'm gonna want to buy a, fl a couple fluxes and lightnings, and I'm not gonna need fire or thunder unless you're using Urk, then I really get those. And a couple vulneries for Merlinus. That's about it. Okay, we're stocked up. That's pretty good. And let's have a uh, guy go over here, and Marcus is just gonna camp up here. He's gonna he's gonna protect my Merlinus. You always want one guy near the Merlinus, because, believe it or not, there are going to be reinforcements these guys are going to have. And they're not going to be very nice. And they're going to be Pegasus Knights attacking from the north side. Actually, I probably should move someone else up there, too. Maybe I'll move Kent up there, because Stan can handle down here just fine. Oh, um, yep, another mercenary. Oh, so I can't one-hit kill this guy. Oh, well, I'm still not too worried about it. Oh. Okay, well that hurt a little bit. Eight damage, jeez. Yeah, I'm not worried about these guys really 
hitting Lin that much. I mean, I'm more worried about the the Shaman with the Flux spell hitting Lin. That's the one that's probably going to do more of the damage. But as far as everyone else goes, I should be just fine. Aw, oh, you would attack Lucius! On the bright side, the Shamans can't finish her I'll finish him off at all. Sorry, I always thought he was a girl when I was a kid. Oh yeah, that archer. Uh, that's going to be annoying. Oh, what? You're not going to attack Lin? Why? That makes no sense. You probably would have actually hit Lin. Oh, I'm surprised you hit Lucius, but... Thankfully, Lucius will not kill him. Because that would be really bad if he did. On the bright side, our magic level increased. Hopefully, the other guy doesn't finish off Lucius. Okay, I know who Priscilla is healing next turn of mine. Wow, I kind of expected Lucius to dodge a little bit more, but... Eh, I guess not. Uh, maybe I want Will backing him up instead instead of... Uh, no, you know. Let's go ahead and heal up Lucius, because God knows he needs it. I mean, he only has 20 health to begin with, but he will be super powerful. Trust me, Lucius will be amazing later. Um, if trained right. Okay, Lin's not doing too bad, so let's go ahead and just take out the archer. In one hit, okay. I mean, I'm I'm okay with that. That That's amazing. Thanks. Oh, we got a red gem from that guy. Wow. Well, thank you, game. Um, I'm gonna want Sane to pull back for healing. Besides, Ellie Wood could, uh, use some levels. Yeah, let's go ahead and finish off this guy. Ellie Wood has much higher defense than Sane, if I remember correctly. Anyways, let's see. What's your defense? Um, 16, what's yours? 7. Yeah, over, over twice as much. Um, Kent, I'm actually gonna have him go back to help protect Merlinus. And probably Guy, too. Protected on all three sides. Um, well, not all three, but you know what I mean. Now, as far as this guy, let's go ahead and attack him. And don't worry about keeping Priscilla behind Lucius. Because even if the shamans do go attack her, um, she, even if she's like level 4 or something, uh, her magic defense should be more than well enough, which is resistance, obviously. So right here, magic resistance, yeah. She should be just fine, so I wouldn't worry about her too much. Let's go ahead and attack one of these other sick bastards. I might want to pull out a lightning book for Lucius in the end, because there's just going to be an onslaught of shamans coming out from the left side, non-stop for a while. Now there's two ways you can get past this chapter. One, wait it out, and two, wait it out. Yeah, you still have to survive 11 turns. Just like in the extra chapter with Merlinus, um, even if you defeat the boss, you still have to wait. But thankfully, it's just not that many turns, it's not that hard to survive. But can we survive this pirate battle? Find out next time on Let's Play Fire Emblem. Have a good day.